Hi everyone, uh, I'm about to speak with uh, a nutritional consultant, uh, Gay Godkin, and uh, we are going to be discussing vitamin D and folate, the importance of it when you're trying to conceive, um, and most importantly also talking around uh, supplements, proceed supplements, and the importance of finding the right supplements to give you the nutrients that you need when you're trying to conceive to improve the chance of success. Um, and also, Proceed have now brought out um, a breastfeeding and pregnancy range too, but ultimately we're talking about fertility today. So I'm just going to see if Gay is here and I can add her in. She should be here any second. Um, Proceed have written a fantastic article for us, which is all around why vitamin B why B vitamins are so important when you're trying to conceive, including folate and the essentials for conception. So if you head to our link in bio, you can read all about that topic, get some free insightful information um, from the experts, uh, which I wish that I had had whilst I was trying to conceive to prepare my body uh, to maximise success. And they are giving our readers 15% off for a limited time and the code for Proceive for the Proceed discount is FHHVIP15. So um, what I love about Proceed in particular is the fact that they have no binders um, and they also have no fillers. So you know that the quality is there and that is so important. And I know that Gay will be speaking about this when we speak in a minute, when we connect. So thanks for bearing with me whilst we do connect. Hope everyone is doing well today. I'd love to know where you're tuning in from and where you're at in your fertility journey. Um, and any questions that you might have for her around nutrition and supplementation, vitamin B, which is the topic today, and folate. Um, and also, as I just said, check out our link in bio to read a fabulous article expanding on this topic and how Proceed supplements in particular have all the um, inclusions that you need to help you on your conception journey without the fillers and binders. So let me add in Gay now, here she is. Hi to those who are joining, welcome. Have your questions ready. Hello Gay. Hi. We Hi. connect. <laughs> Do you know what? The gremlins don't, they, they don't like you and I, I think. <laughs> oh. <laughs> don't worry at all. We all have days where um, tech is not on our side. Yeah, but we I have you here now. There. That's great. Lovely to see you again. You too. Lovely to speak to you again. And I know today we're focusing on um, no fillers, no binders, folate and vitamin B. Um, thanks to our friends at Proceive, um, who obviously have the perfect supplementation range to support what we're talking about today. And they have, in fact, written a fabulous article for us, which is linked up in our bio. Um, so please, could you just give yourself a brief introduction, um, at your involvement with Proceive, your background and who you see, and then I would love to ask you some more questions about the topic of vitamin B. Okay, um, well, basically, my name is Gay Godkin, and I'm a nutritionist. I've been involved in the area of fertility and conception for, I guess, about 15 years now. Gosh, that seems like a very long time. <laughs> and it's changed so much since then. And what's interesting now is there's so much more information out there. And I have worked for many, many years with the fertility clinics. Basically, I, what I have been doing is doing some continual professional development. And as you're mm -hmm. aware, the um, OBS and gynies don't have an awful lot of time. So we go in and do lunch and learn, bring them up to date on all the you know developments in nutrition in relation to this. And the sort of feedback that I would get from those places is, you know, if you get a chance to have a chat with any of them is their view is it is down to the environment i.e diet and lifestyle and that's mm -hmm. why we are experiencing what we are experiencing at the moment and i guess i suppose you know where i'm quite passionate about is food and if you look at things such as the soil so the soil is where we're growing our plants animals are eating the plants so the soil is depleted 
of so, so many nutrients. Um, and that comes down to things like pesticide, not rotating soil properly, overusing them for crops. So unfortunately, a lot of the food that we eat now is not as nutritionally dense as what it would have been 50 years ago. Um, and so, you know, uh, that is where the need for supplementation mm -hmm. comes in. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Especially when you're trying to get pregnant. Oh, yeah. You know, the lead into the the conception, you know, a lot of people would say three to six months. I would be sort of saying a year beforehand. Um, and when, you know, and today we're going to talk about folate. And one thing that does destroy folate in the body is alcohol. So, you know, early teenage drinking and that kind of thing. So you do need to be very careful if you ha if you're trying to conceive that you just don't overdo your alcohol. Mm -hmm. Very useful information. And what's your involvement with Proceive? How have you been working with Proceive? Oh, look, at I'm with Proceive for a long number of years. Um, we collaborate on the product. I do their education for them. I write blogs for them. Um, they come to me and ask me technical questions. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a nice arrangement that we have. We, you know, they, they, they contact me from time to time. We're on, in touch quite a lot with each other. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, just bringing them up to date on anything new I have or if anything they... So you're trying to keep on top of science with this, you know, as you can imagine, um, you're, you're getting all sorts of literature in every day of the week and to decipher what's right, you probably know yourself, yes. there's a lot of noise in this yes. area. Yes. And, 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 you know, there's a lot of people who consider themselves to be experts and with no disrespect, they've read an article. So, you know, getting to the nub of it. That's why I want to cover this topic with you today, thanks to Proceed. And also, um, there are certain elements in their supplements that I know that you're going to speak about, which are particularly, of course, tailored to conception. Um, and so going for a more premium product such as Proceed um, is, is a sensible decision. Um, what is the importance of B vitamins for conception? Let's start from the beginning. Yeah, OK, so I suppose um, B vitamins are what we call cofactors in the process of life, in metabolizing your food, you know, your carbohydrates, your proteins, but they're essential for making energy. You know, they're involved in glucose, the fuel of the body. And without the right B vitamins in there, you're not going to convert that fuel within the cell into energy. So fuel, energy is made at a cellular level. And we have all these transport chains going in to help to make it, ATP is the molecule. And without B vitamins, you're simply not going to do that. So in terms of um, the ovaries releasing the egg, the sperm, believe it or not, depends hugely on vitamin B. If you're thinking, it's almost like the salmon. I always think, you know, the way the salmon leaps, you know, yes. kind of, yeah. Yes. Well, the sperm has to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. So it needs a huge amount of power and energy. And that energy source comes from your B vitamins. I love that. Okay, thank you for explaining further. Um, and um, men and women, do they need the same amounts of vitamin B? Well, it's interesting because I had a, a conversation with ProSave earlier. In terms of the amount of blood tests and the diagnostics that we do, we measure things such as folate, we measure iron, we measure B12. Even within the fertility clinics, they don't measure B1, B2. And partly, part of the reason is that the B vitamins have to be replenished on a daily basis because they are water soluble. So if your vitamin B was fine today and you were out drinking a lot of alcohol, or if you're under stress, stress is the greatest thief of B vitamins that, that we can have. Wow. So, you know, you may not have enough B vitamins in 24 hours, you have to keep replenishing them. They, they, there's no storage capacity in the body for them. So depending on different stages, women, depending on different stages of their menstruation and where they are with that cycle, need a lot of vitamin B. If you're not getting sleep, um, if you're over-exercising, you need a lot of vitamin B. 
And as I said, if you're stressed, stress is the biggest robber. Mm -hmm. And um, in terms of the difference, because this can be a bit confusing and, and perhaps people have read different things online, but um, to, for people to understand the difference between folate um, and folic acid, so for folate, the synthetic versus the natural, could you tell us a bit more about that, please? Yeah, it's like everything. It, it, folate comes from the word foliage. So, you know, the green yes, leaves yes. on the trees, you know, and it's, it's a lovely word. Um, so what we have discovered, and it was a great discovery when they found out that, you know, folate was a vital, vital uh, vitamin for um, particularly for, for conception, but also during pregnancy. You know, very often people think, oh, it's OK. It's involved in cell replication, mm -hmm. replicating your DNA and giving it to another little human. But what we have found out now is that certain people have this thing, it's called a polymorphism. It's just a posh name for a little fault on a gene. And they, even given those people folic, folic acid, it doesn't change anything because it's not in the bioavailable form. Okay. So not to get too scientific, everything we take into the body either the microbes in the body or enzymes in the body have the job to convert that into a form that's available to the DNA and cell replication. Mm -hmm. And about, you know, between 60, depending on what part of the world that you live in, but I know that there was research done on the UK and Ireland quite some time ago, maybe 10 years ago, about 38% of people had this little fault whereby even if they had enough folic acid, which is the synthetic form, they weren't able to convert it to the bioavailable form. And that's a word called L-methyl uh, mm. folate. And it's, there's, um, oh, you don't need to know, there's a big enzyme <laughs> involved in that. And uh, as I say, some people, it doesn't work in. So to make sure that you are getting sufficient folate, always take it in that bioavailable form which is the um, methylfolate so could so you methyl is just a group that is added on to it yeah i see okay if anyone has any questions for gay as we go along please do ask um, yeah do absolutely dm us or proceed or gay afterwards um for people who are looking for the right supplement for them um we know and obviously um you know with your expertise that proceed has the perfect amount of those that in it so you just mentioned for example l methyl folate yes. um can you tell us a bit more about how much is in folate sorry how much of it is in proceed and how that is so important for people who are trying to conceive looking for the right supplement for them and making a choice with which to go with based on the ingredients in there for example yeah, again, it, it, coming back to what I've just sort of said to you there, um, most supplements have folic acid in there, all right? And you might think you're doing the best thing by taking, and you, by the way, you are doing the best thing by taking, yep. but who's to know whether you or I have that defect on, on the gene mm -hmm. whereby we're not, we're not able to convert yeah convert it so that's the that's the most important part you don't need to get down to the metrics and what i would say to you about proceed and it's something that i say in all the fertility clinics and it's very well received by all of the gynecologists when you're supplementing less is more believe it or not overdoing it is worse than underdoing it mm -hmm. in many ways and some I often see people and because I have my own clinic where I'm sitting now, I see a huge amount of people coming to see me with fertility issues, both men and women, by the way. Yeah. Um, and they come in and they have bags of supplements. I say, oh, here we yeah. go, snake oil. And they have like, for example, um, two milligrams of L-arginine or, you know, two grams of something else. And I say, no, that's going to put that out or they're on a massive amount of zinc. And you, you just need to tweak things mm -hmm. and give the body that little bit extra that it's no longer in the soil, no longer in the plants, no longer in the animals. That's where we 
originally would have been getting it from. So you just give that little bit and the body knows how to do the rest. Mm -hmm. So don't, don't, what I would say to people is don't supplement with individual vitamins and individual minerals unless you have a blood test which says you have to have b12 injections or you're you know you're specifically chronically iron deficient less and is more very very good advice and also going for a brand like proceive you know that um what you need your body will be able to absorb um, what you were just saying before. I mean, it's great to tick a box and think, well, I'm taking that, but you need to be taking the right quality of product, don't you, for it to have an effect. Otherwise, it's almost not pointless, but everyone knows, especially in the trying to conceive community, it doesn't necessarily need to be expensive, but you want to be doing everything you can to improve your success. So it's worth educating yourselves, like through you, for example, and through um, learning more about, you know, what's inside proceeds, for example, to inform, to, to make sure you're maximizing preparing your body for conception. That's a really lovely way of putting it, maximizing preparing your body for conception. Mm -hmm. um, because as I said to you, you know, it's, it's all very well taking a supplement, but if you're taking it in, you need to be able to metabolize it. You need to take the cofactors with it. You would never dream of taking a single B vitamin. You no. need a whole suite. Yeah, but yet I see people on a daily basis who come to see me and they're on one specific uh, vitamin B and mm -hmm. I'm like, well, that's not going to go. That's it. Colored urine is what you're, you're paying yeah. for at the end of the <laughs> yeah. day. Do you know what I mean? It's the body will metabolize and, and it's very good at doing it. We have all the enzymes to do it yes. and the gut microbes will also do it. Um, someone's just said that um, they're taking folate and prenatals daily but after testing with their doctor, uh, they were told that their levels were still low. And um, just... Folic acid or folate? Well, they have said folate. Um, so this. So they um... would need to be taking the uh, methylfolate. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and um, this person has been saying, you know, they're eating leafy greens, etc. But you've just said, haven't you? And so they're surprised it's so low. But you've just said, haven't you, that the way the world we live in today with pesticides and all sorts of other factors, lifestyle things that are happening in the environment and the way we live, um, it's better to be taking a supplement to ensure that we're um, preparing the body the best way we can in case that our body isn't getting what it needs purely from food. Well, look, we know about the, the deficiencies in, in the soil is the big issue here. Okay, so you can buy lots of green leafy vegetables and if they're if they're forced along, you know, with various different fertilizers and things like that, and, and they're not getting the nutrients, the nutrients come from the ground. So, mm -hmm. you know, you can buy nice green things, but they, they may be devoid of nutrients. Yeah. So, you know, and then the other thing not to forget is if you're under enormous amount of stress and you're not getting your sleep and your diet is not good, you know, you will be deficient. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And when is a good time to start taking fertility supplements if you're trying to conceive naturally or for um, IVF or any kind of fertility treatment? What would you recommend? Well, um, people go for IVF after six months to one year. Um, so I would say for anybody who's considering a pregnancy, you know, six months. But if you haven't got six months, three months, it's always a good time to start because you're increasing your chances. Even if you're only on it one month, you're in a better state. Your body's in a better state. Your nutritional profile is better than it was the previous month. You know, and like I said to you about the B vitamins, you need to take them on a daily basis. At the end of 24 hours, they're gone. For example, A, E, D and K, they're the fat soluble vitamins. You know, if you go to Spain for two weeks in the summer and you get some vitamin D, that can last up to 45, mm -hmm. 55 days. Yeah. That's not the case with, with, um, with vitamin B. Right. You know? so, so it needs to be a regular, consistent thing. Um, and, and obviously taking the right supplement or right brand, such as ProSieve, as we've just been discussing, where you know that your body is going to absorb it and you're going to get the nutrients that you need to make a difference. Yeah, because what, what we use this word called cofactors, 
So nothing exists in, in the body on its own. So, you know, B and C is very good to take together. And if you're looking at antioxidants, all other antioxidants recycle each other. And vitamin B6, believe it or not, is an antioxidant as well. So it's not really straightforward um, saying, you know, um, I'll take X, X supplement. It is better to take them the way they are in that dose that is just going to support. This is support. Yeah, absolutely. One of the things I love um, about about Proceive, and we've been working with Proceive um, at Fertility Help Hub for three years, is the fact that right from the beginning is the fact that it's a premium product, which is obviously so well backed by um, science um, and does not contain fillers or binders. Could you explain to people a bit more about what fillers and binders are and why it is good to go for a supplement brand that doesn't have those? Well, there fillers and binders are put in there because they're cheap. Right. Basically, you can fill up your supplement and put less of the nutrients in there. Um, so what we understand about, as I said to you earlier on, when you take a supplement in, you are depending on the enzymes of the body, the co yep. and you're depending on the microbes in the gut to metabolize that so it's bioavailable to the body. If you're taking supplements with fillers and binders, believe it or not, those fillers and binders and certain emulsifiers can wipe out colonies of bacteria in your gut. Right. Um, so, you know, the, the, the microbes in the gut are activating some of these um, vitamins and minerals. So, for example, vitamin K2 is made by a bug in the gut that we all hate, but in the friendly, friendly format of E. coli. So E. coli actually makes vitamin K2 in the gut. So the B vitamins, V vitamins are metabolized by the bacteria in the gut. So if you're taking them in with all sorts of additives and binders and fillers, the microbes don't like those. I see. Okay. Not so, straightforward, is it? Well, it does make sense. It really does make sense. And if anyone's got any questions for Gay, please feel yeah, free to ask. Um, this is what she's kindly here for. Talk and I said, forever about this. <laughs> <laughs> it's important. It is important. And I know that it can um, feel a bit sort of overwhelming to know what you're putting in your body. And that's why, you know, hearing from yourself and, you know, expert uh, articles such as the one Proceed has just written for us, um, you can find it through the link in bio, in our bio, is really fabulous because um, it, it's trusted, it's a trusted source, it's um, premium, um, and you know that you're doing the best to your advantage to um, help your body. Yeah, precisely. I mean, that's why it's not um, going to have a negative effect. Oh, no, absolutely not. I would say m most people, you know, outside of fertility, most people are nutritionally deficient. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Most people. And um, I was going to ask you whether you feel that there's anything else on this topic uh, that we haven't covered that would yeah. be good to mention. Sorry, my battery just went there. Um, no, in church, was there, do you have any questions? Does anyone watching have any questions? Um, if you don't feel like asking them publicly, please feel free to direct message us, Gay, or Proceive, um, and we will be able to help you. Uh, as I mentioned before, Proceive is a very popular supplement brand um, on our platform with our readers. And if you head to our link in bio, you can read more about all of this topic today um, around folate, vitamin B, and what to look for in your supplementation. Um, and they're also giving our readers a 15% discount with code FHHVIP15. Hope I got that right. <laughs> so use that at checkout and, and you'll benefit from a discount, which is for a limited time only. Um, anything else you think that we should mention whilst, yeah, I whilst people think, are here? Um, I just to kind of reiterate to people, you know, um, A, try to get your nutrients from food, which is very difficult. OK, and particularly during the winter months. Um, and B, don't go out and buy single nutrients. 
that mm-hmm. that is the most important thing. Yeah. You know, don't go out and buy high doses of single nutrients because you've read a, an article that somebody has written or somebody or you can walk into a shop um, and say, I heard X, Y and Z was good for fertility. It doesn't quite work like that. They Proceed has spent a long number of years looking at getting the formula right. Mm hmm. Um, and just, you know, less is more. Mm -hmm. They also have his and hers, don't they? So both if, if, you know, if you're in a heterosexual relationship, both partners can um, start taking these supplements to support conception and egg health, sperm health, etc. with Proceed Max. You know, look at, um, oh no, they have Proceed Max, but they also have Proceed for men, Proceed yep. for women. Like there's there's loads of different uh, choices there. The one, I suppose the other thing I'd say to you, um, because there's B vitamins in there, it's important to take it on a full tummy. Yes. It's important to take it after breakfast. Mm-hmm. And I wouldn't take it at night because B vitamins can keep you awake. Oh, that's a good thing to know. So, well, when you're trying to conceive, the stress of it can give you bad sleep as it is. So that's that's really good to know. Um, but And the other thing is, um, someone just talked about growing their own produce. Do you recommend that people um, buy organic food? Like, how do you sort of, as well as taking supplements, as we've been discussing today, how do you um, help your body in the current climate we live in? Um, reducing toxins yeah that's a very good um question i do recommend if you can afford organic food to buy it and by that i mean vegetables okay fruit and you know even if you're buying organic carrots and bananas and whatever you can afford everything does help um so in terms of, of toxins, we live in a world that's polluted. The, sa- the sea is polluted, the air is pl- air pollution, all of that kind of thing. And again, just to come back to you on the B vitamins there, mm-hmm. they are great to help us detox all of that. Yeah. So they're, they're also efficacious in that area of, mm-hmm. of, you know, trying to keep the body free of toxins. And in terms of stress, they're a great stress supporter and there's magnesium in there as well. That's also great for your adrenal glands. So in terms of nutrients that you would need for your adrenal glands, because as you rightly pointed out, people can be extremely stressed going through the process. Um, it's important that you're given that kind of adrenal support as well. Mm. Absolutely. Well, um, once again, Gay, thank you so much for your time and for Proci for all of your expertise um, in, in supporting us with this live today. So thank you to those who have joined and any additional questions, please DM us um, and the team at Proci are happy to answer more um, and head to our link in bio to read all about this and have your questions answered by experts. Thank you so much for having me. I really enjoyed the chat. <laughs> you too. It's always lovely to speak to you. Thanks for your time today, Gay. Okay. All the Thanks, best. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye.